Are you wanting to test your Boston Terrier skills? In this video, I have a 25 question quiz to test your Boston Terrier knowledge coming up. Hey everybody, welcome to the Boston Terrier Society YouTube channel. Consider subscribing if you're someone who wants to learn more about the breed, like the video today, hear expert interviews, or connect with other Boston Terrier lovers just like yourself. I'm Donnie Gardner, the founder of bostonterriersociety.com. This is Bella, my Boston of over a decade, and today I have something special. It's actually a quiz that I created on bostonterriersociety.com. You can check that out in the show notes, but I wanna give you an opportunity to answer each question. I'm gonna give you seven seconds to answer each question after I read it. So let's get into the quiz. Which U.S. president on this list had a Boston Terrier as a pet? Was it Richard Nixon, Gerald Ford, Dwight Eisenhower, Warren Harding? If you answered Gerald Ford, you are correct. Question 2. When did the Boston Terrier become recognized by the American Kennel Club? 1885, 1893, 1910, or 1923? If you answered 1893, you are correct. Number three. What American Kennel Club group is a Boston Terrier in? Is it in the Terrier group, the Working group, the Non-Sporting group, or the Toy group? If you answered the non-sporting group, you are correct. What is the Boston Terrier known as? The American Gentleman, the Little Dog That Could, Handsome Devils, the Happy Boston, or the Boston Puppy? If you answered the American Gentleman, you are correct. Who is the ancestor of the modern Boston Terrier? Is it Hooper's Judge, Jason's Balto, Francis Gibson, or Jack Randall? If you answered Hooper's Judge, you are correct. What is not a standard Boston Terrier color? Black and white, red and white, seal and white, or brindle and white? you answered red and white, you are correct. Number seven, what city did the Boston Terrier originate from? Was it London, Oxford, Boston, or Philadelphia? If you'd answered Boston, you are correct. Number eight, when was the Boston Terrier Club of America founded? Was it 1892, 1891, 1885, 1899? If you answered 1891, you are correct. Which two breeds make up the Boston Terrier on this list? Was it the English Bulldog and the White English Terrier? Or the English Bulldog and a Pug? Or was it the White English Terrier and the Jack Russell? Or was it the White English Terrier and a Pitbull? If you'd answered the English Bulldog and the White English Terrier, you are correct. What was the name of the famous World War II Boston Terrier war hero? Was it Sergeant Baxter, Colonel Rambo, Sergeant Stubby, or General Spot? you'd answered Sergeant Stubby, you are correct. Now, I do want to let you know, there are a lot of people out there that say, you know, Sergeant Stubby wasn't a Boston Terrier. He did resemble a Boston Terrier. This was not a fact that I could like solidly fact check, but it's very common that people say Sergeant Stubby was a Boston Terrier. That's all I have to say about that. What state uses the Boston Terrier as their state dog? Is it Rhode Island, Massachusetts, Connecticut, or Pennsylvania?
you'd answered Massachusetts, you are correct. How does the Boston Terrier standard describe the breed? Is it lively and highly intelligent, active and fun, lively and sensible, or active and prudent? If you said lively and highly intelligent, you are correct. Question 13. The American Kennel Club divides the Boston Terrier into which three weight classes? Under 10 pounds, 10 pounds, and under 15 pounds, 15 pounds and not to exceed 20 pounds? Or is it under 15 pounds, 15 pounds and under 20 pounds, 20 pounds not to exceed 25 pounds? Or under 20 pounds, 20 pounds and under 25 pounds, 25 pounds and not to exceed 30 pounds? Or finally, under 15 pounds, 15 pounds and under 20 pounds, 20 pounds and not to exceed 30 pounds? That was a mouthful. If you answered under 15 pounds, comma, 15 pounds and under 20 pounds, comma, 20 pounds and not to exceed 25 pounds, that is the correct answer. Question number 14. Which of these universities has a Boston Terrier as their mascot? Is it Yale University, Carnegie Mellon University, Boston University, or Harvard University? If you answered Boston University, you're correct. Question 15. Which of these names has once been used to describe a Boston Terrier? Was it Roundheads, American Terriers, Freedom Pups, Boston Hams? If you answered Roundheads, you are correct. Approximately what year did the Boston Terrier originate based on these four answers? Was it 1815, 1817, 1901, or 1896? Now remember, this is just an approximation. Okay, if you said 1870, you are correct. What were the names of the original sire and dam of Boston Terriers? Was it Maximilian and Princess, Hooper's Judge and Abigail, Hooper's Judge and Burnett's Gip? Was it Sam's Barton and Sarah's Ava? If you said Hooper's Judge and Burnett Gip, you are correct. The Boston Terrier Club was originally called which name? The American Bull Terrier Club, American Roundheads Club, American Gentlemen's Club, American Boston Terrier Club. If you said American Bull Terrier Club, you are correct. Which famous person in history owned a Boston Terrier on this list? Was it Mark Twain, Helen Keller, Samuel L. Jackson, Elon Musk? Helen Keller is the correct answer. There's Bella looking awfully fine. What dog breed is a Boston Terrier continually mistaken for? At least this has been my experience. And I'm terrible with this name. Is it a Beacon Frice? Terrible with that name. French Bulldog, an Australian Terrier, an American Hairless Terrier. The correct answer is a French Bulldog. Everybody always mistakes Boston Terriers for French Bulldogs. A spot on top of a Boston Terrier's head is known as a disqualifying mark, mark of death, Samuel's spot, or the Haggerty spot. The correct answer is the Haggerty spot. There's Sophia and Bella right there. On question number 22, is a Boston Terrier a Terrier? As defined by the AKC grouping, yes or no? No, the Boston Terrier is not a Terrier because it's not even in the Terrier group, it's in the non-sporting group. So the answer is no. 
Question number 23. What is the approximate lifespan of a Boston Terrier? Remember, this is just an approximation. Is it 7 to 9 years, 11 to 15 years, 12 to 20 years, or 15 to 25 years? The correct answer is 11 to 15 years. Question number 24. Now I put this out there just because I think it's interesting. Now I know I'm going to get some comments in the comments section, so please bring them on. Do you have to dock the tail of a purebred Boston Terrier? This question is going to be a little tricky. Yes or no? The correct answer for number 24 is no. Now, you can have a purebred Boston Terrier that's born with a tail. That's absolutely possible, and it does happen. But in general, Boston Terriers are not born with tails. Now you know. As a brachycephalic breed, this means Boston Terriers have what? A short tail, a big head, a sturdy build, or a flat nose? And the correct answer for this is a flat nose, and that is the final question. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this quiz. If you did, you can check the show notes below for quizzes similar to this one, and be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel if you want to learn more about Boston Terriers. In the meantime, I do have a video right here covering 20 reasons Boston Terriers are the best dog breed in America, or one of my latest videos here. And as always, until next time, life is better with a Boston.